The next thing I'd like to do is show you about actually printing this and how to make sure you maximize the size on your page. I'm going to go up to File. And under File, we have a lot of different choices. We have Print Setup. We have Print. So I'm actually going to look at Print Setup first. It, here's some information about choosing your printer. Here's about paper size and orientation, whether you want it portrait, which is looking at it like a page, like as it is now, or landscape, where the page actually is on its side and is much wider. So I'm just going to say, OK. Actually, we're, then we're going to go to print. Now you can see that there's some of the same things you can change here as you just did in print page setup. But we're looking at it, and we can see there's, a, there's actually a little preview panel. And we can see that it's actually rather small. One of the things in, you can do in here is it says page handling. And that shows how many copies you want. So if you want to make 40 copies, you put 40 in there, and it prints 40. Um, and you can do a number of other things. You can rotate in the center, but don't worry about it. Page scaling is what we're going to look at. Now again, you can only you only have to print certain pages. You can go and put pages one through eight, or one through two, or one through one, just to print one page, or just the current page, just what you're looking at, which current view, are all pages. So you can you can actually choose how much of a PDF you want to print. But let's go back down to page handling because that's what we're looking for as far as making it more legible once you print it. And this says reduce to printer margins, which means it's going to keep whatever you're trying to print within the the margins of what is your printer is capable of printing. So you'll need to experiment with this a little bit. You could say fit to printer margins, but I got a feeling in this situation it's not going to change anything, but it, maybe it will, so let's do it. So it's as we can see, it actually did get bigger. So in this situation, you would use fit to printer margins. Page scaling is where you would go to make sure that you can enlarge it. Some versions of Adobe PDF actually will, will show you that just say fit to page or you can expand it. But you go to page scaling and you experiment. And with this preview, you can see how it's going to turn out as far as size goes. And I think this is the maximum size that you can print at. So this is like one full page, 8 by 11, 8.5 by 11. And let's go back to reduce to printer margins. OK, so this is much, much smaller because what it is is the printer is recognizing that there's a margin to the scan that was made, but the, s the margin of the, the edge of the scan that was made doesn't go to the edge of the paper yet. So that's why it ends up looking so small when you print. So if you go to fit to printer margins, that means it'll expand out to the edge of the page. And therefore, because there's already some margin around the text from the scan, you get the largest possible print job from it.